Hello everyone. Hello. Hello, and I'm Si Qi Yu. I'm Zhu Xuanxuan. I'm Chen Shuhui Hu. And our team is MATLAB, Matlab students. students. And our project is arbitrary function generator. So let's begin. First, we use App Designer to create the slides we use to set the variables and abstract these values into the function. I set the equation of the function of sine wave and rectangular wave. So in my part, I made the equation of functions of Schultz's wave, the triangular wave, and full wave rectified. Hey guys, and for me, I created a sound button and checked the code for maybe like the double check or triple check like that. And I'm also the editor for the, this video. Here is our final project, and it is an arbitrary function generator. You can see that there are four slides a drop a drop down button and two start button and the drop down button shows that we have five types of functions we can choose and sign with rectangular triangular sawtooth and full wave and by moving the terms it can change the accuracy the frequency can change its intensity intensity the amplitude can choose it can change its size and the dc can't change the function's form but can change its location like moving down or moving up or down. And I'm, I'm going to display the function for you guys. So uh, let's go for the sine wave first. Uh, for sine wave, we do not need to consider terms. Uh, so we change frequency, that's about um, 10,000, and uh, we change amplitude to 1 and DC offset to 1 and uh, let's see here's our sine wave and uh, let's produce the sound okay then which we use let's we let's use different value let's set frequency to 20,000 amplitude to 4 DC offset to approximate 5 and let's see oh here is our sine function. It's a little bit wide, so here we go. And let's see, let's see the sound it will produce. Oh, very low sound because the frequency is very high. And uh, let's try rectangular wave. Uh, set frequency to ten thousand amplitude to 2 and uh, let's see the terms about 7500 DC offset to 2 okay here is our wave very perfect and uh, let's find out this, what, what it will sound like And uh, let's see the terms to a little bit higher, frequency a little bit higher, amplitude a little bit higher, DC offset a little bit higher, and uh, here is our graph. Yeah, let's see the sound. Nice, and uh, let's try a triangular wave. Let's see terms about 7500, frequency to 10,000, amplitude to 2, DC offset to 2. Let's see what's it look like. Oh, here we go. And uh, let's predict the sound. And let's change a different value. I just randomly pick anyone and and then we see how the graph changes here we go and the, how the sound changes hi everyone and now let me show you guys the sawtooth wave and full wave rectified first of all let me show us the saw wave sawtooth wave for so to sway, the first thing we do is also change terms into higher points like 2500 and let's see about the frequency around this point I'm not sure what point it is but just this place and now I can change the amplitude into 1 keep the DC offset at 0 let's see what the graph gonna look at look like start 
Yeah, now you guys can see the lowest point for the cell 2's wave is negative 1.5 and the highest point when amplitude is 1, it is negative 0.5, just half, negative half. And now let's see what it gonna sound like. Ha. Uh, because the frequency is not that high, the sound is not that bad, I can say. And now let's change the terms into a higher point, like maybe just change it into 10,000. Let's see what gonna change. Ah, not so much, but I think the graph is looks more correctly. Maybe change more things, like change the amplitude into 5, much higher, and the frequency even higher from this point. Let's start what to look what it like. Ah, in fact, it's already changed. You can see, you guys can see, the highest point is already changed into 5.5 and lowest is 0.5. It's already changed from the negative into the positive way. And let's see what it sounds like now. Not that well again, but yeah, you can see because the frequency is much higher. The sound we hear is, how do you de describe that? I can say it's more like a, uh, just lower or how to say that? I'm not sure, but you guys can hear that. Now, let me show you the full wave rectified. The full, uh, let's keep the same value for now. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Hmm, much different. The lowest point is keeps in zero and highest because of the amplitude is five now, so the highest point is five for now. And the frequency is still more than half, I think it is around 10,000 and plus what, I'm not sure, but it's 10,000 more, more than 10,000. And yeah, let's see what it sounds like for now. Hmm, interesting. And now just change it back into amplitude with one and uh, frequency lower than the half point, like here. And maybe this time we can change the terms into a higher point, almost the most correct way, and see what it's done looks like now. Start! Wow! Because the amplitude changes the highest point, it's changed into one now, and lowest is still the same thing. And change from the frequency. You can you can just see the graph what it changed like now, and let's see about the sound which I'm most interested in now. Wow, beautiful! And I think that's what we're gonna show you guys for just for now. Now we've already seen what these five types of waves looks like: the sine types, the sine wave, the rectangular wave, triangular wave. So tooth wave, what I just showed you, and the full wave rectified. This is what we made from our script, and that's our final program. So this is our whole final project, and good luck for our finals. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.